हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एम एस सिद्दीकी स्टैंडर्ड इंस्टीट्यूशन यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट मोड कंट्रोल यूनिट और एच आर चेंजर और ब्रांच कंट्रोलर ओके सो वॉट दिस कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर दिस कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ हीट रिकवरी साइकिल हीट रिकवरी वी आर एफ वी आर वी सिस्टम हीट रिकवरी वी आर एफ वी आर वी सिस्टम कैन साइमल्टेनियसली कूल और हीट ए गिवेन स्पेस ओके पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू टू अचीव साइमल्टेनियसली कूलिंग और हीटिंग ए स्पेस इट वर्क्स इन कंजंक्शन विद बोथ एम सी यू एंड फोर वे रिवर्सिंग वैल्व सो टूडे आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट एम सी यू वाई इफ यू गेट ग्रीप ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर एम सी यू बॉक्स ऑटोमेटिकली विल अंडरस्टैंड हीट रिकवरी कॉन्सेप्ट ओके टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट एम सी यू दिस डॉटेड बॉक्स इज यूअर एम सी यू और ब्रांच कंट्रोलर बॉक्स दिस डॉटेड लाइन विच यू आर सींग वो ही इज इट्स अ बॉक्स इन दैट बॉक्स थ्री रेफ्रिजरेंट पाइप विल बी एंटरिंग In those three refrigerant pipes, two will be supply, one will be return coming back to compressor. Okay, these two are supply. One is hot gas line. Second is liquid line. Hot gas line, liquid line are supply refrigerant pipes, and the suction line is return refrigerant box which is going to ODU. That means these two pipes are going to indoor units. this one and this one to indoor whereas this one is going back to outdoor to your compressor fine i have explained three inlet pipes as you are seeing three idus indoor units 1 2 3 so the box has six pipes outgoing two indoor units three pipes input to mcu six pipes output of mcu which will be given to three idus okay fine so to the mcu box to supply one return totally three input refrigerant pipes and six output refrigerant pipes to your three indoor units done next thing is your solenoid valves two types of solenoid valves we are using because we have to give two types of uh, temperature settings to our idus one is we have to heat other is we have to cool for heating we re we need heating solenoid valve to cool a room we need cooling solenoid valve so this is heating solenoid valve and this is cooling for next idu heating and cooling solenoid valve next idu heating and cooling solenoid valve when we are performing heating operation in heat recovery vrf when we are performing heat operation at that time heat solenoid valve will be on and cool solenoid valve will be off because we are performing heating operation so what happens with it the refrigerant flows into the idu and gives heating to the room while heating heat solenoid valve on cool solenoid valve off the same while heating heat solenoid valve on cool solenoid valve will be off this is a solenoid valve next what we are having eev nrv it's a bypass here also eev nrv bypass eev nrv bypass this three eev nrv eev is nothing but electronic expansion valve working together with nrv non return valve okay this three bypass eev nrv is directly connected to your suction line see here it is connected to your suction line from here also it is getting connected to your suction line then here also it is directly given to your suction line it's a bypass from all indoor units to improvise the efficiency of the system done then what is left out this i have explained this to heating solenoid cooling solenoid it's a bypass eev nrv next what about this 1 2 3 this three are sub cool eev nrv sub cool eev nrv sub cool eev nrv why i am saying sub cool because directly it has connected with your sub cooling directly it has connected connected with your sub cooling directly it has connected with your sub cooling why we are providing sub coolers 
Why we are? That means why we are providing a heat exchanger over here. You can see three heat exchangers within your MCU box just to improve the efficiency of the system. Understanding such as to uh, maintain energy saving and giving the best to the consumer they are bringing up new new technologies understanding so these are the subcoolers one subcooler two subcooler three directly in conjunction or in attachment with your eev nrv eev nrv eev nrv hope you understood this particular thing what i have explained okay the next left out thing these are the subcoolers means heat exchangers in simple word heat exchanger one heat exchanger two heat exchanger three Next, one more electronic expansion valve is there. Why? Because the liquid from the liquid line we are getting condensed gas, right? To convert condensed gas to pure liquid, it has to pass from electronic expansion valve. That's what. So from here, condensed gas over here, what you'll be getting input as liquid. With liquid here, condensed gas here, heat exchange takes place, and proper sub, sub, sub cooling is been provided. Liquid condensed gas cooling provided liquid condensed gas cooling provided see with this lots of energy has been saved and a proper economic uh, device has been made done now let's study how cooling and heating has been done next thing what we have to concentrate on so let's study so i told you from hot gas line which is coming from the outdoor to indoor we have got high temperature high pressure gas heating i am explaining you heating heating so high temperature high pressure gas came over here this is the heating solenoid it sends the high temperature gas automatically due to heating of that gas high temperature gas this solenoid gets turned on as it got turned on our high temperature high pressure gas entered into our idu coil what happens the room heat it will reject all its heat to the room with that that cool temperature room converts into the normal 22 degrees celsius room but this high temperature high pressure gas converted into condensed liquid this cond condensed liquid is being given from your nrv it's not passing eev it's bypassing why the position of refrigerant which is coming and the position of nrv is the same so automatically it turns on your non return valve and the refrigerant which is in condensed liquid state will directly enter into subcooler and converts into pure liquid why because here we are giving refrigerant of liquid here condensed liquid condensed liquid converts to pure liquid this liquid converts to condensed liquid that's it and you can see over here these three lines are going to our next mcu box why to the text mcu box again 12 or 6 or 4 or 2 idus will be connected that's how this mcu will play a major role in simultaneously cooling and heating operations of heat recovery vrf okay my next video will be on cooling type vrf heating heating type vrf max cooling max heating on heat recovery vrf systems and i hope you all enjoyed this session so please do like subscribe share this youtube channel such that it will motivate us to come up with more technical videos thank you everyone